All right, uh, Brandon, here again with you. Um, this is this is the big one. Um, first of all, coming into this year, obviously you, you took care of business against Rock Nap in their last fight. How has everything been coming into 2020? Uh, it's been good, you know. Uh, starting training again, it's, it's hard to get back into training always. But, you know, uh, got into it quite easily and it's going quite good. So happy about everything so far. And just looking forward to the big fight. Talking about the big fight, you guys had a fight before. Obviously, you felt that you had won that fight. Um, looking at it now, is it a completely different fight? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, uh, I, th- I believe Boyd has grown as a fighter. Uh, he's learned a few, a few new tricks. Uh, obviously, uh, training with Peter Smith now. Uh, he should have been learning something already. Um, I've been changing a lot in, in the gym. Um, working on a lot new new let's say moves that we that we can use and and so forth so yeah i I think it's going to be a completely different fight but uh yeah i'm just looking forward to it you know i've been waiting for this fight for a while now you know speaking to your dad in an interview i did a couple of days ago he said that you know the rock result kind of put your mindset at a new level as well so sort of saying that you're you're better than that level is that how you said as well yeah you know uh after after the training camp against Rourke and then the results I got into in the fight with Rourke, you know, it made me made me see that uh, you know I, I am made for bigger bigger things than this. So you know I'm, I want to show boy that listen, I'm not the same guy you fought the first time, and uh, you better be ready because I'm coming for you. As, as, as you said, you're working on a few things. Boyd obviously changed trainers as you mentioned earlier. He's he's going to be working on something completely different himself. So, would you say for, it is for the benefit uh, that he that he's gone to Peter and for for him? Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. Uh, he has a he has a good coach with him. Uh, you know, uh, teaching him a little bit of boxing uh, instead of uh, the MMA that he's used to. Um, so I don't know if if he's comfortable there, it might have been a good change for him. If he's not, might, he might be in trouble. So it all depends on how they work in their camp. I'm going to take a quick detour because obviously there's a there's a there's a third place uh, fight as well. Tristan and Rock, what's your opinion on that? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough fight. Eh? I think I think those are two, two talented young men. Um, I don't have a favourite in that one. I don't have a pick for that one. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a very tough. One. Might go points, and then if it doesn't, whoever has the more, most power should win by stoppage. Now, when you, uh, in your mind, you're winning this fight, what's what's sort of the, uh, right now, obviously I'll ask you this again in the post, but what's what's the vision for the future? You know, from here, I, I, I really want to get this fight behind me first. Uh, so all my attention and everything is on this fight. I haven't really thought about uh, anything past this fight yet. But, um, you know, I, I, have a, I have a great manager, great trainer, so I, I'm sure there's bigger things coming after this fight. Um, so I'll leave it in their hands and wherever they take me, I'm ready for it. I'll go there and, and we'll do what we do best. Now, uh, Super 4 final, does it mean as much to you as the fight against Boyd Allen or is it just, I want to beat Boyd? Uh, it's mostly, I want to beat Boyd, you know. Uh, yes, the final is, is, is great. Uh, Rook wasn't really a fight that we wanted, you know. Um, it was just a fight that was given to us. Uh, simply because of the forward war. Uh, the fight that we wanted was Boyd, and I'm very happy that we got that fight. Uh, it's, it's time for redemption, you know. Um, the first fight, according to the judges, didn't go my way, but uh, I'll make sure the second fight goes my way. It's interesting to, to like sort of analyze it. How did you see the, the scorecards in your mind for that, for that first fight? You know, Boyd definitely, definitely uh, captured some of the the beginning rounds of the fight. You know, our, our game plan uh, was was something different at that time. But you know, he definitely captured a, a few of the rounds in the beginning. Um, but I believe towards the middle and the later rounds, uh, I believe I was I was the one putting the pressure, getting the better of him. You know, so I believe I, I was capturing those rounds. And then uh, also the low blow that he claims, which I know it wasn't a low blow. You know. Um, I've watched that tape over and over, and I know I didn't hit him low. So, you know, I, he was tired, he, he needed an easy way out, you know. So, and I believe uh, if he did not claim the low blow there, and the ref did not give him that low blow, I, I believe I would have stopped him in that round. 
Now, if you look at the, the, the analysis of Rock's fight, you guys had identified it, that you had mentioned in the post fight that you had targeted the body because you had previously seen something. In the Boyd fight, is it maybe his gas tank that you probably have looked at? You know, Boyd, Boyd's gas tank uh, probably have, has improved already. Um, but uh, the way we're going into this fight is completely different. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he's going to see uh, what we're bringing to the table in this fight. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Your beliefs now, is it uh, of an international standard uh, boxer now for yourself? Yes. Instead of, and, and what, I, what I mean by that is, obviously, you've been fighting a lot locally, get past this tournament, and you're on to big things. Yeah, look, I really want to go fight international. I've been saying that from the first fight <laughs> I've had uh, since I went to pro. Um, so, yeah, it's always, always been a dream of mine to go fight internationally and improve my, my skills on the big stage. So, yeah, I, I really would like to win this fight and then step up and go international on it. This result, is it important that you win in a certain manner or is it just a winner win for you? You know, for me, I believe I want to win in style. You know, I want to win, I want to show everybody that listen here, uh, I, I am the more skillful boxer than, than Boyd. I am the, the one that's been bo- in boxing for longer than him, and this is what I do, you know. So I believe I want to win in a skillful manner. I believe your trainer also mentioned something about that you have the Allen key uh, for this fight. I think a little bit of banter has gone into this one. Obviously, it's fun. Um, what's your thoughts on that one? You know, we, we've assessed Boyd. We've looked at Boyd. Uh, we've studied him. We've fought him. So uh, I believe now we have the tools. We have the, 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 everything we need to beat Boyd. So yes, I do believe we do have the Allen key. You predicted a knockout against Rook Knapp. That came true. Are you? What are you predicting for this fight? Let's put it that way. Uh, it's going to be a very tough fight. Uh, I think. Think we're going to have have a lot trading on each other. But uh, I, I'm not leaving it in the judges' hands. I, 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 I'm not. Uh, no, but the first time around, I left it in the judges' hands, and you know, look what happened. Uh, they gave him the split decision. So I'm, I'm going for the knockout. When I'm coming for the knockout. I hope you're ready. Uh, yeah, again, just g- give a message to Boyd before you guys step in the ring. Boyd, I hope you're in training hard. I want you at 100% when we step in that ring because I'm going to be at 110%. I will knock you out. I will de- beat you. And I will show you that that first fight, you didn't win it. I hope you're ready. And then just lastly, a shout out to anybody. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to all my, my friends and family, uh, fans out there. Thank you guys very so much for standing by me. I also want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Bridgewater, Log- Bridgewater Logistics, uh, Kinetic Trading, Tyron Infelt, and uh, Shane from the Chiropractor, also uh, Next Generation Coating. Thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate your sponsorship and uh, everything you do for us. We wouldn't be able to do it without you guys.